Hello Gillette Drafted, my name is Kyle Simpkins and I'm a 27 year old bartender from LaSalle, Ontario and I think I have what it takes to be Canada's next sportscaster. Now you're probably thinking who's this guy and why is he putting himself in the same category as Paul Brothers and Brent Furtney? Well, I feel I was put on this earth to do one thing and one thing only, obsess about sports. And that's pretty much all I do. So, just like Gillette ProGlide turns skeptics into believers by turning shaving into gliding, I hope to turn you into a believer in me, Kyle Simpkins. Let's cut to the chase and let's talk some sports. More specifically, Canada's game. The NHL is running an ad campaign to promote the playoffs by saying history will be made. But I think the better question is, who will make that history? Out of the 30 teams that started the 2010-2011 NHL season, only four remain. In the East, Tampa Bay and Boston. And in the West, San Jose and the hope of Canada, Vancouver. Let's go back to the East first. Tampa Bay is coming off of a three, they were down 3-1 to Pittsburgh in the first round and came back to win that series and then swept the Washington Capitals. Now they're sitting on a seven game playoff win streak. That is impressive. Not to mention the addition of a new GM in Steve Eiserman, a new head coach in Guy Boucher, and as of January 1st of 2011, a new goaltender in Dwayne Rolison. The addition of those three studs to an already stellar lineup with the likes of Vinny LeCavalier and Steven Stamkos should get Tampa their franchise's second Stanley Cup championship. Let's go a little bit north to Beantown where the Boston Bruins haven't drank from the cup in 39 years and they are thirsty. And it seems to be a trend of original six teams to go four decades without winning a championship. The Rangers did it. Um, Detroit did it, Chicago did it, and of course we all know about Toronto. The only exception seems to be Montreal. So be sure to know that the Boston Bruins will be fighting tooth and nail not to become a member of the 40-year club this year. Let's go out west to where the palm trees grow, sunny and beautiful California, where the San Jose Sharks have just come out of a very, very tough seven-game series against the Detroit Red Wings. And the San Jose Sharks are known for their postseason shortcomings and their captain, Joe Thornton, is the poster child for not showing up in the playoffs. But if San Jose does have one thing going for them, it's between the pipes. Their goaltender, Antti Niemi, is looking to become the only goalie to ever win two consecutive Stanley Cup championships with two separate organizations. Now, he was a little shaky against LA, but he was lights out in the Detroit series despite losing those three consecutive games to push it to a seventh game. Now, under the Great White North, the Vancouver Canucks have a chance to bring the Stanley Cup home from its 18-year hiatus. The last time uh, Vancouver won the Stanley Cup, it was 1915, and they were the Vancouver Millionaires. There's no one Canuck with more pressure on him than Roberto Luongo. He played horrible against Chicago and even got replaced in game six by backup Corey Schneider. The Sedin twins are feeling the heat as well. They were virtually non-existent in the first two rounds. Vancouver was relying very heavily on forward Ryan Kessler, who marked up 15 points in the first two rounds. So, who will make history this year? Will it be the Bolts, Beantown, the Fish, or... Will Van City bring the Stanley Cup home to Canada? I hope that will give you a better look at the conference finals. And I hope this gave Gillette Drafted a better look at me, Kyle Simpkins. I'm from a blue collar town and a blue collar family. And if I'm privileged enough to get picked to come to Toronto, I will show you that I'm hardworking, honest, and more than willing to take personal criticism. So just like Gillette is the best a man can get, I feel that Kyle Simpkins, me, that I am the best that Gillette Drafted Season 3 can get. Thanks a lot and hope to see you in Toronto. Sportscaster. Damn, I thought someone opened that door. Pain right now saying, who will make history? Damn it, that's not what it says. I want to pull this out. Bam. Okay. If I'm honored with the privilege of going to Toronto, I'd love for you to be able to, um, man, I screwed that end part up.
but that was pretty good. Playoffs. They've come back to win that series and then swept Washington to have seven consecutive wins in the playoffs. That itself is a feat of its own. That didn't make sense. Audio? Yeah. Audio? Yeah. <laughs> a tap on it, eh? Yeah. Good thing you caught that. Yeah. That would have sucked. Perfect! <laughs> <laughs>